It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. You're watching Vicksburg Nightly News with Marcus James. Hey, it's Marcus James and you're streaming the Vicksburg Daily News Brief. A Vicksburg woman feels like a prisoner in her own home after a vicious dog attack. Now we want to warn you, some of these images may be disturbing. Ann Hearn says she was attacked by her neighbor's dog while she was mowing her lawn. Now this happened July 8th, leaving Hearn with injuries to her face, arm and neck. Officials told Hearn that the dog would be quarantined for 14 days and eventually put down. Well, two weeks later, the dog was spotted back at its owner's home. And we talked to the Vicksburg homeowner about the moment she was rescued by another neighbor. I came over uh, with a stick. I think he must have told his wife to call an ambulance. Because, uh, and I, when he cranked, when he beat the dog with the stick and the dog didn't phrase the dog at all. So he cranked my lawnmower up and the dog attacked the lawnmower. Okay, it gives me a chance to get in the house. When I got in the house, I, I was bleeding so bad I couldn't see the phone, I couldn't see the Right, right. So I, I finally got my neighbor next door, called an ambulance. Well, she was up in Michigan, so she had to call from Michigan to call my neighbor, call an ambulance, but somebody already called an ambulance. Now, according to a city ordinance in place, a dog has to be observed after an attack. While it's not required that that animal be put down under the statute, that can happen if it's deemed necessary. We also reached out to Alderman Alex Monsour, who says the board is committed to protecting the citizens of Vicksburg. He also goes on to say that we've been a bit lax. We're going to keep you updated on this story. Also trending, the city of Vicksburg will be able to get a hold of a live person instead of an operator beginning Friday. Now this comes after Mayor George Flags Jr. announced on Friday that the city of Vicksburg has gotten away with the voicemails when it comes to the city services. Flags mentioned individuals who are in need of services will be able to speak to a human instead of an operator 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The number you can call is 601-636-3411. The Claiborne County Sheriff's Department has partnered with United Way of West Central Mississippi to distribute 80 cases of foam hand sanitizers and school supplies. The Claiborne County Sheriff's Department made the announcement of the partnership with the United Way of West Central Mississippi on Thursday, which will help those within the community to stay healthy and prepared for the upcoming school year. Now, a date has not been set for the distribution of the supplies, though the department plans to release one soon for the event to happen next week sometime. Of course, we'll keep you updated on our website at VicksburgNews.com. And cyclists with Journey of Hope made their way to the River City early Friday afternoon. Each year, hundreds take on a cross-country journey in order to spread disability awareness and celebrate the abilities of all people. Three routes are taken starting on the West Coast and cyclists spend the summer making the 12,000 mile cross-country journey ending in Capitol Lawn in Washington, D.C. Participants make stops along the way to spread their message and assist where needed. In Vicksburg, cyclists are being greeted by Shirley Reed on behalf of the nonprofit organization Life of Mississippi. Now, the group will help with an event at the Reservoir Saturday to celebrate 31 years of the Americans with Disability Act. Come throw some axes. Have a drink with some friends. Get in on the action. We, we have fun friends. Now, there's a lot going on in the sports world. Keith, tell us what's going on. That's right, Marcus. Southern Miss is set to take on South Alabama on September the 4th in the first game of the college football season. Now, both teams have some local players on their roster. Demarcus Jones plays for Southern Miss, who's a former Warren Central standout. Another former Warren Central standout is Braden Moody, who plays for South Alabama. New York Jets assistant coach Greg Knapp has passed away today after being struck by a vehicle last Thursday. Now, Knapp has been fighting for his life ever since being struck by the vehicle, and now the Jets are mourning the loss of their beloved coach. Vicksburg native Ben Brown has been named as a preseason All-SEC team member. 
Ben Brown is also a former St. Aloysius football star and is set to start at center this year for Ole Miss. And of course, it's been pretty warm the last couple of days. Here's a quick look at your weather. Vicksburg Daily News wants to take this time to wish Lynn Foley a happy birthday. Of course, we wish you many, many more. And of course, the Vicksburg Daily News is looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them, and how old they'll be turning. And of course, we'll try our best to get those as you send them in. Remember, you can stay connected with us and connected anytime on our website. That's VicksburgNews.com.